Right, welcome back. And now that we've talked about refraction, let's just quickly revise it before we do this little demo, which is really popular and quite a cool one to see. So we know that refraction is when light bends as it moves from one medium into another. Now, it's really important that you guys understand that terminology and the words that I'm using in that description from one medium into another of different density and when it's at an angle. OK, and we'll see why it's important to say that um, in this or the next coming videos. So we can see we've got a light ray coming in. We know that that's called the incident ray. Remember, we said that the incident ray is incident or coming into a boundary. We have our boundary here, which is between substance one. In this case, it's going to be air and substance two, which is water. So as the ray of light comes in, it hits the water and then it slows down. Remember the analogy that we used in terms of the car and the mud and that when the tires hit the mud, it slowed down. As it slowed down, the car turned. Well, the same thing happens with light. And so as the light hits this uh, water, it bends and goes into this direction here. And so it is refracting. Now we know that this angle here, and if I color this in, just like you guys would be coloring it in with a diagram that you have, that is the angle of incidence. Remember, it's measured from the normal. OK, do not fall into the trap of measuring it here. It's measured from the normal. Remember, the normal is an imaginary line that you guys have to draw in when you do this in the lab. So we measure it from the normal. And we know that this angle here is called the angle of refraction. So let's just do that one. And I'm going to change colors now and let's see how purple goes. It's a very light purple. OK, there it is angle of refraction just with a bit of scribble there okay and those two angles do not equal each other so it's different to our law of reflection reflection is when the angles equal each other these don't you can sort of see it this one here is a different size to this one and so they do not equal each other. So keep that in mind. So here's a demo that uh, we constantly do in the lab. And I know my class does this. But here, check out this one here. As we add water, watch carefully what happens to the rod. So as the water is going in, you can probably see a little bit that the rod seems to be changing um, its shape a little bit. And of course, when we get rid of all the bubbles, we can make sure that it's nice and clear to see. But of course, you can see that the rod looks like it's bending and it looks like it's a little bit magnified. And that, of course, is due to refraction. And that's the same reason why, for example, in swimming pools, that the bottom appears bigger to you. Or if you look at a swimming pool, the leaves, the leaves at the bottom or whatever it might be, look like they're closer to you. That's due to refraction. So that's a quick little demo that you can do to reinforce the idea that light changes direction and bends when it moves from one medium to another. And we call that refraction. So. Practice drawing this diagram, making sure you understand the terminology such as the normal, the incident ray, the refracted ray, you know, and we have the angle of incidence and the angle of refraction. Maybe draw it, make a copy of it, make a flashcard of it, but you've got to constantly test yourself to see if you can remember. All right, that's it for this little quick demo. I'll see you in the next video. So just like the quote here that you can see on your screen, which says success is the sum of small efforts, we've got to make sure that we repeat ourselves and constantly challenge our um, learning. So all the stuff that you've just learned, can you uh, recite some of the key ideas from this video? Can you describe the key ideas from this video? Can you draw diagrams or something to explain what you've just learned to somebody else? So in order to do that, we need to check what you have down in your notes. So do you have detailed notes with diagrams? We're not looking at just writing one or two sentences. We're making sure we create new pathways to remember your information. So detailed notes, using color to highlight key definitions and terms. You're writing down questions, of course, to yourself or to your teachers. If you come across something that you're not too sure of, make sure you find out what that means. You've got to make your learning meaningful, right? Just like we say in all the study videos. If it doesn't make meaning, you're just repeating words that don't really have much sense to your brain. It's got to make sense. And then, of course, do you have a plan to frequently revise the material? How often are you going to look at this? Have you watched the video that talks about the frequency of study and the memory curve? So think about all of those things after every single video because we want to make the information go into your brain and make sense so then you can retrieve it anytime, any day. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.